Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to do my best to kind of show you step by step how I went about producing this canvas. The image is of Lee and the Professional, it's a fantastic movie. But I'll be touching upon some shading techniques using charcoal blocks, willow sticks, graphite powder, uh, some brush techniques and erasing techniques. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, rock and roll. So the first thing I do before I start any big canvas is I kind of look through the internet and I try and find a really good image that I think I can work with. And once I've selected an image that I'm happy with, I'll then put that into Photoshop and I'll convert it into a grayscale or black and white and play around with the, the levels and curves just to get that, that high contrast that I'm looking for. Now you don't necessarily have to use Photoshop, you can use any uh, image editing software or just use your phone and convert it to grayscale or black and white. I'm just going to use some basic materials, charcoal blocks, willow sticks, charcoal powder or some graphite powder and I'll use my fingers and some makeup brushes to blend all that in. So, each technique I'm going to show you now, I will be using all these techniques in creating this canvas. And the first one is probably the most basic, it's just getting that layer of charcoal down and just blending it out with your, with your finger or your hand. Now, because your hands do get a wee bit greasy, I do recommend having some hand wipes beside you and just give your hands a wee wipe every so often just to get rid of that grease. The other technique I use a lot, especially with the smaller areas, is I'll just apply a, a layer of charcoal with the charcoal block and I'll just use a, a kind of medium a makeup brush and just blend it out. And then I'll go back in and I'll, I'll apply another layer of charcoal and just blend that out into the gradient. This is a very effective and lovely way to create a, a nice tone. Then once I'm happy with it, then I'll just use a, a larger, softer brush and just spread it out a wee bit more. I use a lot of willow powder in my canvases and I tend to use the willow powder in areas where I'm not 100% sure how dark I want to go with it. And the lovely thing about willow is it's very, very soft and easy to kind of move around. So I, I use this almost like a, a base layer as such. And then once I'm happy enough, then I can just start layering it up by applying some, some charcoal and then just blending that into the willow to create a nice gradient. One of my kind of signature things, and it's one of my favorite mediums to use, is graphite powder, which is super, super soft. And it's fantastic for getting them super, super soft tones. And I always use graphite powder towards the end of the canvas. And you'll see what I'm doing here. I just go in and I apply some graphite powder over all my gradients. And if I do lose a little bit of the solid black, I'll just apply more solid black and then just blend that in. But graphite powder is a fantastic medium to apply at towards the end of your canvas or drawing. Uh, it's very easy for erasing and just for getting all those little highlights in. And yeah, I use a lot of it. You'll find that when using the makeup brushes, it will lift some of the solid black but don't be worried about this. You just keep applying more charcoal and just blending it and blending it in with your finger to create them beautiful tones. When I was recording this, it is slightly overexposed, but graphite powder is so soft. It's just such a beautiful medium to work with. And you can see now in a second when I go with the eraser, you can just create beautiful little highlights throughout your drawing to really, really emphasize that contrast. Something 
I started doing recently was using a pencil extension holder and I just kind of file the charcoal block down so it fits in there and then obviously any of the excess does I keep that for for creating tones but I just find this is a really really fast way of kind of applying charcoal and it's super super clean and when I start off I, I like to kind of define some of the more solid black areas and this just helps with my hand-eye coordination so I'll just very very loosely just get some solid black down and then I'll go in and I'll just use the finger blending technique to just kind of create some solid blacks and some light tone tonal work. But yeah, uh, I'm going to kind of shut up now and uh, let you guys enjoy the whole process. But uh, this was a, a very, very fun image to work with and I'm pretty sure that anyone can do this. It just takes a little bit of practice and yeah, just keep working on them tones, you know. If you're afraid, afraid of going in with solid black at the start, then just go in with the willow and just build the tones up. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting it together and uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch up with you later on in the video. Enjoy. Thank you. 
pretty much come to the end of the video now. I really hope you enjoyed the whole drawing process. I had a lot of fun working on this particular image. Uh, Leon the Professional, if you haven't seen the movie, give it a watch. It's a great movie. But big thanks to everyone for taking the time out to watch. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, give us a subscribe. This really kind of gives me that motivation to keep producing more videos and more artwork. I've been away for the last couple of weeks as I was kind of moving to a new property. So that took up a little bit of time, but I'm all settled in now and I can't wait to start knocking out some more drones. So yeah, big thanks everyone and uh, I'll see you probably next week in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.